Good evening. I'm Camden Cohn, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, Husker track and field star Rima Otebo was named the Big Ten Women's Field Athlete of the Week. Otebo threw an NCAA leading 58.47 meters in the javelin last Friday at the Jim Click Shootout. The Nebraska women are ranked fourth as a team in the USTF CCCA poll. Two Nebraska bowlers were selected to all region teams today as well. Jillian Martin was named second team all central region. Martin averaged 205.1 pins this season, the best of any Husker. And Brenna Hartzler earned first team all rookie honors. She competed in every tournament this season and eclipsed the 1,000 pin mark in five of her nine tournaments. In national news, former Kentucky men's basketball coach John Calipari was officially named the new head coach at Arkansas following Eric Musselman's departure to take the USC job. Calipari signed a five-year contract that starts at $7 million per season, decreased from the $8.5 million a year he was making at Kentucky. Finally, some Major League Baseball scores from today. The Cardinals fell to the Phillies 4-3. The Twins defeated the Dodgers 3-2. The Diamondbacks beat the Rockies 5-3. The Mariners bested the Blue Jays 6-1 in 10 innings, and the Nationals fell to the Giants 7-1. Currently, the Padres and Cubs are scoreless in the second, and the Red Sox and Orioles are about to start as the number one prospect in baseball, Jackson Holiday, makes his Orioles debut at Fenway Park. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour one of Sports Nightly is up next, right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly, all the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here comes the 3-2 pitch, lifted to right, and drifting over near the line is Williams and looking up and it is gone. Wind blows it right out of here. It's a grand slam for Will Walsh. It's 5 nothing, Big Red. With Ravel as Andrew swings and lifts it. Right field and deep. Riano going back to the wall. It's gone. Home run, Billy Andrews. And that's the new record. She is the all-time home run queen at the University of Nebraska. Now the 2-2 from Sears. Ricky Ball swing and a miss. Strikeout number seven will end the eighth inning for Brett Sears, and he has gone eight innings here on a Saturday afternoon. The pitch from Chambers. Coke golfs one to center and deep. Going back to Elgadillo, and it's gone! Three-run home run, Emerson Coke. Make it 5-2 Nebraska. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome to our Wednesday show back after a night off last night where I got to go watch Will Bolt get thrown out of a baseball game. That was kind of fun and exciting. I mean, (laughs) it's, I I guess you you meet him and you talk to him. He just does not seem like that kind of guy, but he's certainly, he's, he's got some competitive fire and he's going to fight for his guys. No doubt. So it's, it's, uh, but that's what you like. And and some of the best competitors are that way where they are just completely different than what they are when they step out on their playing surface. You're right. He gets fiery (laughs) at times. And I think there's two things. One, he, he felt like that it was a one, it was a bad call and the, the mechanics that the umpire was using. You're supposed to appeal to somebody else who might have a better look at a check swing and he had talked to that umpire about that very same thing a couple of innings earlier so legitimate to go out to do that but i also think he still wanted his team to keep fighting because he knew the game was still there to go get so it's kind of a two-tone message that he put out there i i liked it i thought it was all right it's like back-to-back games where you felt like the momentum was at was headed towards the huskers and all of a sudden it's not i thought in the ninth inning we're gonna win and the yeah. bases loaded, scored one, had one out, and then Columbus bounced into two. It was really fun, though, to be back in Lawrence. It was it was neat to be there. I like Lawrence. I do too. And and there was been there was so much respect between Kansas and Nebraska and the universities all through the years. So it was good to. I'm glad that that is now going. I know other sports have done that. Softball's played him some, but. Uh, for a while, when Nebraska, and I, I get it, when Nebraska left the league, they just said, we're not going to play you guys anymore at all. So I'm glad we've kind of gotten past that. Because here's the thing. It's beneficial for both programs and in all sports, right? And Correct. it's not very far to travel. You right. can get fans from both fan bases. 
I'd like to see. The I mean, the women have done it. Uh, basketball matchups, a home and home. We just had one of those and, five or six years ago. You know, so and cool. then the men, I know they played Kansas yep. State. So I think that's a good thing to do. To And Agreed. now we're seeing Colorado now enter the full. But um, I think that's especially the Kansas schools because they're right there. I like the matchups with Wichita State because yep. a lot of times, especially in the Diamond Sports, they've been good. good. And so it, it helps when the Big Ten's RPI is a little bit down. A lot of times it can help those RPIs, and, and it's a good matchup. A midweek, here's a chance to, to improve for both, and, and it's, it's a – I feel like it's mutually beneficial for both yeah, programs. Totally agree. It's gonna. And, and by the way, Nebraska lost. The RPI didn't change, so they didn't because Kansas RPI is decent, so they didn't drop even a spot in the RPI after the loss last night. It will be interesting, Jessica, to see how long it takes an OU and an OSU to get back where they may schedule each other. Because I, I know it's very bitter down there right now with Oklahoma about to go to the SEC. I know it's what the state wants. It's what. A lot of the fan base wants. It's just, I, well, I, I think Oklahoma does. Oklahoma State's salty uh, because of that. And but, and I know we've heard we heard Mike Gundy say some things, but I think eventually, probably sooner rather than later, they will get around to it. And especially again, like we we're just mentioning, when you're talking about those some of these sports that it's fairly, it's really expensive to travel. You don't want to get on flights, and and how can you? Matchup in the midweek, you know, uh, to me, there's a lot of, again, benefits for these, for those two programs to to face off in in some of these other sports. So I understand football is a little bit different kind of um, animal to to undertake because you schedule so, so far, far in out. advance and you're trying to also manage, especially for Oklahoma, they're having to manage now an SEC schedule. So it, it might, and you add a rival on a non-conference, it might not be ideal to have that kind of non-conference matchup, but especially for some of those other sports, you know, it's, it, the, the only thing it does is help both programs. Correct. And the whole entire state. So I yeah. would think that it, I think they will make a push for it eventually. It'll take maybe a few years. Yeah. Time heals, right? That's what they what they say. I, I, I messed up last night, and I want to atone for this, and I know this is not the baseball broadcast. This is Sports Nightly. But I had a request. I said, and it was such a crazy game. It just <laughs> Our heads were spinning with the way that game was played last night. But I wanted to give a shout-out last night to Linda Zerke. She is an elderly citizen who has poor eyesight, so she loves the baseball broadcast on the radio. She's a huge Husker fan, and she's having some health issues, and so had a request for us to give her a shout-out. I messed up, and I forgot last night, but I'm going to do it tonight. So, Linda, we're thinking about you. Thank you for listening, and hang in there. Better days are ahead for you. So, Linda Zerke out in Pierce, good luck. Hang in there. I love that. Yeah. And it's so cool that you think about – radio and a lot of times people have said oh it's going away but I mean how many times do we hear in all of our sports and I'm so thankful that we are able to still provide that in yeah. all the different platforms it stink that we were, stunk that we were not able to put the men's basketball NCAA I tournament know. but you know the fact that we can provide that kind of listening and people enjoy it and they there's so many people so many fans and so linda we are we're thinking about yeah. you and um best of luck and best wishes so bad on gregory missed it last night this guy was so crazy then we had a little technical issue we kind of got bopped i think we had a little power surge through the press box lost our connection for a little while so it was hectic no excuse i messed up so linda uh we and were give her a shout out you. on friday then well i guess ben yeah, can ben can I'll, I'll pass it on to ben <laughs> to give linda a shout out on friday well um no practice today for the huskers they will practice tomorrow yesterday we heard ed fully talk special teams and you had a chance to catch up with tristan alvano we'll hear that uh, in the coming days um, you know, that's the third phase of the football, and sometimes you don't hear a lot about that this time of year. Uh, we did hear from Coach Coop, and my goodness, it's what we think. That defensive backfield, you better play, and you better play every day, or you're going to drop down a spot on the depth chart. There is so many names in that secondary. So many names, and, and that's what I, I think I've said this a couple different times, but you look at that room, they had a lot returning. I know you lose... Quentin Newsom and you lose Omar, Omar Brown, but you still have a lot of guys that are coming back that have played a lot of football, like Ma Malcolm Hartzog and Marquise Buford. Then you had the other Buford, who I've heard is just playing really well. Yeah, um, he's his name's been brought up a couple different times when I've talked to other defensive players. So Deshaun and, Singleton. I mean, and then 
Jeremiah Charles. Jeremiah Charles is now on that side of the ball. So there's just a lot of talent. So yeah, you you better bring it or you're gonna lose your spot. And but that's where this competition thing is great for that room specifically because Absolutely. you're getting all those guys in those types of situations where you're getting those game like opportunities and those reps because you've got three fields going at once. And my goodness, the praise from Coach Cooper about Isaac Giffords. And Isaac Gifford is one of the best players in the country. He says, most people don't know it, they're going to see it. And this staff has been a big, big fan of Isaac really since the day they got on campus. Yeah, and he's really taken a lot and putting a lot on him to be a leader and to help the younger guys along. I think things have, I, I really feel like last season, especially we saw the game really slow down for him. You know, I know he was playing a little bit behind JoJo for a while, but I, I think things really clicked for him. And you saw him anticipating things yeah. where a lot of times that light bulb goes off and it starts to click with guys. I think you really, really saw that. I know we saw flashes in in the previous years, but I feel like last year you really saw him take it to another level. And there were times he's making game-saving plays and, and some huge plays where he was – Bailing some the defense out, but I, I think his his ability to anticipate some things now you're really starting to see, and he he knows the defense and he has the confidence now. And I just I think and I think Tony White has just a great ability to find the roles and and set up his defense to get the most out of the talents of the guys that he puts on the field. And I think certainly Isaac Gifford is one of those guys that he's been able to scheme around and really maximize what Isaac Gifford does well. Jessica, how about the physical change in Isaac from when you first met? Think back to when you first met Isaac. He was a teenager. Now he's got this facial hair. He's thickened up. He just Now he's a man. I mean, he is a big-time football player. I mean, just physically, he is, looks like a comp you could go before and after pictures on him and go, whoa, that's a <laughs> different guy. Yeah, I chatted with him yesterday, too. It was his birthday. Oh, and it was funny. 23, it's, two, two, probably 22. 22 or 23, probably, because if, if this is his fifth year, so. But he was walking up, and he's not a guy. Um, he better he get used. He doesn't love doing that, does he? No, he doesn't. And he's great at it. He's, he's a great interview, and he has a good perspective. But he does, he's not a fan of it. So he's walking up. I was like, just what you want on your birthday to do some media, some press conferences, some interviews? And he's like, oh, yeah, you know it. But, you know, he's um, just he's such a great guy. And, and he, he loves, he loves, loves, loves this program. It felt like there was unfinished business. And so, you know, he could have walked away after last year. Maybe he could have. Thought maybe he was going to. You know, because he's a guy that you would think maybe could – make a name for himself on special teams at the next level. Totally agree. Might not get drafted, but you get in the right system and you really get on a, on a team where you can lock in and, and be an elite special teams player, which we've seen him be, um, you know, he, he could have a chance. So, But he felt like unfinished business, and he is, uh, I know the defense is really glad. And now you think about the guys that left, Luke Reimer, Nick Henrich, who were the vocal guys. Mm -hmm. Now Isaac Gifford is that guy. I know he's um, experimented. He's been one of the guys that they've experimented wearing the, the, the helmet communication. communication. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of getting started with it. And as we talked with Tony White about, he said, there's just, they rotate so many guys around. And, and which guy, which one guy do you want to wear it? And he's certainly one of those guys that you're experimenting yeah, it's wearing hard that helmet. If you're going to be subbing in and out, you kind of need that person needs to play more than they're sitting on the sideline. Yes. And, yeah. and Isaac will probably be that guy, but still you just got to figure out which, but he's, He's a leader. He's the he's I, I think really stepped into that role of being and I don't know if he always was that guy, uh, a really vocal, um, communicative communi communicate Commu communicative. Communicate. Communicative. Communicative. <laughs> We're know. both fumbling on that one. Um, a guy that is very vocal and, and he, you know, I think he was a lead by example guy for a while and now he has become comfortable in using his voice and being a vocal guy for this team. Yeah, good stuff. We're going to hear from MJ Sherman, another guy that started to kind of show some things toward the end of last season, the, the former transfer student. Uh, we're going to hear from him coming up in a few minutes. Real special later on in the hour, Chris Kaborik, interim president, will be here. He's going to stop by a couple times in the month of April. Lots to talk about, obviously, with the hiring of Troy Dan in a few weeks ago and his early impression of his new athletic director for the Huskers. All that we're going to talk with Chris coming up in a few minutes. Hour number two, it's out. The latest this episode of Kicking Back with the Cooks. The Cowboy, John Cook, has a hat, keeps $2 in there. It's a whole story. We'll get into that. We'll play a part of that for you in the second hour. And it's Wednesday. It means Jessica's Wednesday's Women's Podcast. And you're heading to the track and field stat for this week's guest. Yes. What an unbelievable conversation with Jess Gardner. So many things. She's a local kid. She's 
I we actually were looking it up. I'm pretty sure she's the most followed student athlete really? here at the university in across multiple platforms. She's got a huge. She built a big brand for herself and has capitalized on the NIL in a, in a space where maybe track and field is not as there's not as many opportunities. So she went about trying to, to figure out how she could build her own brand. And so it just was fascinating to get into all of that. But also, hey, this track and field program, the women's team just had a big win over the weekend. And then, um, you know, one of the things that she's utilized with her platform is she's partnered with American Cancer Society because it's hit her family really close. Her mom has battled it. And so, you know, she wanted to use her platform for good right. and to have a purpose for it. And so we dive into all of that. It's, it's just a great conversation, just in a little bit unique from, from what we normally do. So it is really fun. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Good. We'll have that for you coming up in an hour or two. And as always, it's your show, 402-413-2400. I do have time, though, to tell you, check out all the, the all-new Hy-Vee Perks program. You can sign up for it totally free, totally free Perks program and enjoy Exclusive perks pricing on hundreds of items in store and online. Score big savings today at hyvee.com slash perks. We're back to hear from MJ Sherman. We'll do that coming up next. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on a brand new 2023 F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. A few drinks at home after work, a couple of hits at a party with some friends, over-the-counter drugs for a minor illness, a new daily prescription, and you're not quite sure how it makes you feel. It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. 
the official foundation company of the Huskers. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Woodhouse Buick is bringing you more. With every new Buick purchase from Woodhouse, we're including three years of scheduled maintenance. Plus, with our current lease offers going on now, you'll save even more. Lease a 2024 Buick Encore GX for $397 a month for 39 months, 10,000 miles per year, $0 due at signing. With approved credit, must finance with GM Financial. Must currently lease a 2019 or newer GM vehicle to qualify. Offer expires April 30th, 2024. See dealer for details. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, back with you here on a Wednesday night hump day edition of Sports Nightly. Well, a couple days ago, Jessica had a chance to catch up with Husker linebacker M.J. Sherman, the transfer from Georgia, who made some impact plays last year, but I think the Huskers expect even more out of him this year. Here's Here with MJ Sherman. Well, you guys got a few practices in the books. Uh, how how's everything been going? It's fun. I mean, it's very competitive, very like physical and everything like that. But like, it's fun to see all the young guys and older guys trying starting to mesh and come together. And we're starting to see a lot of progress where we can propel ourselves further towards uh, the fall season. But each day we try to get one percent better, and I feel like everybody's embracing that role in that culture. Second spring, not just for you, but then also for everybody with this coaching staff. How has it felt different this time around, this spring ball? Uh, we know the expectations of uh, what the coaches want from us. And I, um, we have a better player-to-coach relationship because now we know them and everything else like that. But, um, yeah, we just know the expectations um, from coming from Matt Drills to here. I mean, the standard has risen from last year, but we understand why the standard has risen from last year. And we all achieving the same goal to have a better season than we had, had last year. When you closed the chapter on last season and then began to evaluate how you wanted to approach this season, what were some of the things you took away from last year that you thought you did good, that maybe you needed to improve, all of that good stuff? I feel like I needed to improve in all of my areas. I mean, like, I didn't have, like, there's specific goods I have, but it's not like I want to list them right now. But, like, me personally, uh, my goal this season, the coming this season, was the me versus me mentality. Every day I got to try to outwork myself the best I can. You know what I mean? And I, that, that went into changing my habits, changing my thought process, and changing my work ethic. I mean, not saying my work ethic was bad, but everybody needed a little bit of something. You know what I mean? So I just try to just get, as we say, 1% better every day. You know what I mean? It's not, I'm not just competing the guy, not competing just to get, guess, uh, guess the guy in front of me. I'm competing against myself as well. When it's the seventh play in a row and I got a pass rush one more time, can I do it? And I feel like I have been. So that's, that's what we're trying to do, man. You're a vocal guy, very passionate on the sideline. How have you also maybe developed to into a leader for this defense again, stepping into more of that role again this spring? I always, I always get shy with that word, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm. Is it something that I'm willing to embrace? But once again, the team got to give me that. I always will be passionate. Always will be vocal. Cause I love this game in the back of my like all the way to my heart, to my soul. I love this game, so I always will be passionate and vocal when it comes to certain things. But like once again, a team got to give me that role before I could be a leader. The ones who want to listen to me, they will listen. But I just want to shed my passion, shed my love. If I see something wrong, I'll call it out. And I pretty, I think I have much uh, enough respect in the locker room where they will listen to me. But once again, like stepping into that role, it just be more of a natural term. You know, I'm not forcing myself or I didn't write on my notebook, no, notebook and say, like, I want to be a leader. It was more so, like, every day I'm, I'm going to show the team, tell my teammates why, you know, I could be a guy that could be trusted and respected by my effort, my work ethic, and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. No Luke Reimer, no Nick Henrich, and those are guys that have played a lot of ball around here. How has the linebacker group come along without those guys? A lot of stepping up. A lot of stepping up from the freshmen, from the old guys. You know, John B is the king of that room right now. And it's just a lot of stepping up. I mean, like, 
I'm not really with them a lot now because, you know, we with the Jacks and everything like that. But from seeing from a distance and everything like that and still having new ties and connections with them, yeah, I, it's a lot of stepping up, a lot of stepping up from guys like Dylan, Vincent, John B, as I said, Javen Buddha, like all those guys, a lot of stepping up from them. You, you talked about raising the expectations for the defense. How hungry is this group being what you guys did play? You played some really great ball, some lights out ball last year. How much hungry, hungrier is this group now to even elevate that? I mean, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we are more, more hungry than last year, but it's more so in the sense where we're not really just chasing a, a stat. Mm -hmm. We're more so chasing a standard. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what the coaches have been trying to um, really push and press on us and front load that to us is that – yeah, it would be nice to be top three in the deep, but it's like we're trying to chase a standard. And I fully, I fully hardly believe that because if we chase that standard, then we can chase that stat. Then we could be one of those top defenses in the, in, the, in the nation. But right now, we're just trying to chase a standard and trying to chase an expectation that we all want from ourselves and believe that we can achieve. Great perspective. How's the competition been with the, the three groups and you guys are battling it out out there? It got a little heated, it seemed like. It sure did, but like that, <laughs> hey, when you when two lines fight, it's not going to be a little kitty fight. You know what I mean? So, like, it's just, it's how it is, man. Like, everybody got that burn, everybody got that fire. Shoot, I got that burn and fire. Like, I, I had a couple of things, but, you know, times when it goes good, times when it goes bad, it all trying to teach us how to keep our composure and try to level out. You know what I mean? Never get too high, never get too low. But the competitive nature on this team is very, very high, and it's very fun to do that. It's very fun to compete with my my, my teammates, and you know, ain't nothing ain't nothing more fun beating on your brother, man. You know, <laughs> so that's all it is. How's the offensive line look so far this spring? Oh, they they good. I mean, Coach Dylan, um, Riola. Um, I mean. Coach Royola, he's just, he's doing really well with the uh, offensive line right now. I will always have a biased perspective, so I can't really say too much. But they're doing really well. That's all I got to say. I mean, from one-on-ones to team and everything like that, they're doing really well. They're a cohesive unit. I mean, I always call them elephants on parade because that's all you see when they, walk, when they walk by. They're very cohesive. They have a really good brother bond. And I feel like that always that culture and that, and that system that they have is going to carry on to the field and help us win some games. Uh, obviously, Heinrich Harburg's been through this before, but those freshman quarterbacks, how much are you guys on the defense trying to get them, uh, hey, welcome to college football, and this is what you can, can expect out here? I mean, yeah, I feel like all those quarterbacks are doing a really special job. They're all competing. They're all doing a really good job. But, like, yeah, I mean, I do joke around with the freshman quarterbacks when I get back there. But, like, once again, I mean, I mean they're all doing a really special job. They tear us up individually. You know what I mean? So we just, we, you know, as much as we, like, try to rattle them, try to give, you know, try to give them hell back there, we just as much as happy when they, when they have success on the field. Yeah. Because success now could lead success later, and we just want them to keep pushing them forward. And whenever we can do on a defensive line, on a defense as a whole, to give them as much pressure as possible to make Saturdays more easier, we will do that. Last thing, just uh, what goes into the rest of spring that, so you guys are where you need to be when you close this chapter and move into the summer workouts before fall camp? I mean, we're taking each phase one, one, by, one, one by one. I mean, last winter was mad drills phase, now it's spring ball phase. So we're not really trying to look forward right now. We're just trying to look at the nitty gritty. Right now it's film. If I film at 515, so we're just taking it one step at a time. Can't eat the whole elephant in one bite. Why is that important to do? Because... Um, uh, this, this is a great parable that everybody says, be where your feet are. I mean, and, and that's the best thing you can do every single day. You can't think too far. You can't think too back. And you always got to be right with your presence. And, and you use absolute every single minute of your day in that right now. And that's what we do in practice. We don't think that's what our saying is, what's next? After that play is over, cool, celebrate. You know, cuss, cuss somebody out, do whatever you need to do. But once that play is over, you move on. So you got to be where your feet are. And that just... You know, just challenges our mental agility. So that's why it's really important. I mean, it's really important for me as well. And that's not only just in football, it's in life as a whole. So, uh, yeah. Great message and great stuff. Thanks for your time, MJ. Thank you. He was awesome. Wow. That, he was so good. I, I really enjoyed uh, chatting with him. I uh, hadn't interviewed him much, but you can just tell uh, being on the sideline and, and watching all the interactions, he is very passionate. He is very invested and, and he cares deeply. I think you can hear him say it, but I, he backs it up with how he communicates, how he's trying to get guys fired up when things weren't 
going well at times. He'd be the first guy, hey, let's go, let's pick it up. So um, as much as he doesn't like to just say, hey, I'm a leader, he certainly, um, I think, rises to that when, when it's needed because of how much he deeply cares. And I think hopefully we'll see, but I, I think we could maybe expect to see a big jump out of him too this season. Great. I think it's a lot of that second year. Feels more comfortable. Feels like, okay, last year I'm just trying to get to know my teammates. Now I know them, and I'm pretty good, and I need to be stepping up. I think that's, you need to see the confidence in his answers to you and the body language. That's a confident young man. And, and he looks the part, obviously. Sure does. You know, uh, when you talk about the eye test, certainly he's one of those guys. But I think, too, he was moving around a little bit, you know, yeah, which, which they've find done. Spot. But, you know, he settled in at that jack position. I think he, that's where he prefers to be. I think, I think he really likes it. And even though he didn't rack up like the huge numbers, we still saw some plays where you're like, okay, that guy can be pretty special. And so hopefully, you know, again, just settling in, figuring out this defense, and just uh, playing with, you know, even more confidence that we'll see him take an even bigger step this year. Love it. Crypto King was asking a ticket update for the spring game. We're approaching 50,000, so not bad. And I think, you know, we get about two weeks out and people can see the weather forecast. I think that uh, that'll continue to, to get picked up. Still, 50,000 is really, really good. It would put us in the top five in the country just with that if it, we stop right, right there and we're not going to stop right there. Hey, Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back to talk to interim president Chris Kaborik. We'll do that next. Not All Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Not All Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Not All Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Things that impair you come in many different shapes and sizes. Some are the shape of beer and liquor bottles. Others look like cigarettes but aren't cigarettes at all. These are the things we know impair us. The things our parents warned us about. What we're not always aware of is our new prescription or the over-the-counter medicine we picked up just for allergies or a bad cold. See, it doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If you are impaired, driving is deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of Built Ford Tough. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on a brand new 2023 F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Husker fans, springtime in Sarpy County means sports and outdoor activities. Catch an Omaha Storm Chasers baseball game or a Union Omaha Pro soccer match at Warner Park. Visit Fontenelle Forest where you can enjoy tree rush adventures or hike and bike on one of the many trails. Play a round of golf or experience great fishing. Relax, refresh, and rediscover yourself with a springtime trip. Plan your adventure at GoSarpy.com. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Discover the future of luxury with a Cadillac Lyric at Woodhouse Cadillac. Experience the thrill of instant torque and seamless acceleration, all with zero emissions. Lease a 2024 Cadillac Lyric Sport all-wheel drive for $599 a month for 24 months, 10,000 miles per year. Shop all our Lyric inventory in-store or online today at Woodhouse Cadillac, where innovation meets elegance. With approved credit, stock number KK240022. $4,000 down payment plus first payment and $299 dot due at signing. Offer expires 4-30-24. See dealer for details. 
At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks. Foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Delighted to be joined tonight by the interim president of the University of Nebraska, Chris Caborco. Always good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Great to see you. Great to be here, Greg. March is over. What a fun March, though. I mean, we had the Case A win in the three-point contest. Coach Hoiberg gets a, and Coach Williams both get contract extensions. Big thoughts. You're kind of kind of put a bow on basketball for us, if you would. Um, so, you know, as a former youth coach, you never you never define your success based on one game, and um, but you look at the, what you accomplish over the season, and and I what you just said, uh, uh, amazing year for both men's and women's basketball. Really, really proud of of the student athletes and Coach Williams and Coach Hoiberg and on everything they did. And uh, if I look back at the entire season, you know, the men beating Purdue, the women beating Iowa, the run the March Madness. Uh, I still claim the, the women's final in the Big Ten in Minneapolis was one of the best sporting events I've ever been to. Um, just incredible, incredible. So, you know, why we didn't get the outcome we wanted in, in the tournament, uh, you know, really proud of, of both those programs and, and what they accomplished this this season. Well, we're certainly in a, a time of change with athletics. The hiring of, of Troy Dannon, and boy, he has hit the ground running. Can you kind of take us through the process of how you landed on Troy and just, uh, you know, what did all that look like? Yeah, Greg, if you uh, you know, hiring an AD was not on my bingo card when I accepted this interim president gig. So, um, so, um, you know, like most of, Hus most of Husker Nation, I was in a bit of uh, denial and shock when, when Trev told me he was moving on. And, you know, I gave myself about an hour to absorb and go through all those emotions with that and just uh, realize um, we're going to do what Nebraska can do. We're going to roll up our sleeves and get to work and find the next great leader. And, um, and so it was, it was an interesting process. You know, athletics, um, the industry is just so much different than the rest of higher ed. And, you know, we have several... Uh, high-profile leadership pro searches going on right now and from the president to other and you know every leadership search process is a little different and um, some wanted to conflate um, the AD with the president and I give our Board of Regents a lot of kudos for giving me the faith and authority to go make the hire um, if we were able to find the best person because Across the board of all of our all of our programs, we've had such success um, not only this year but for sustained and and I know when there's a leadership transition and a point of turmoil, um, you know, those coaches, those student athletes, they're getting calls from other institutions saying, "Hey, you know, um, would you would you take up our call?" So it was really important me for me to provide some stability. So um, it was really important to move quickly, uh, but not not settle. For a good candidate, and so um, the great thing is, this was the easiest sell I think I've ever had. I mean, selling the big red end is is a pretty easy job, Greg. Um, I, I'm just really pleased, um, and Husker Nation should be pleased and proud of the the brand reputation that we have across the country, 
And uh, there was no shortage of interest um, from individuals who wanted to talk to us about the opportunity. But, you know, one name consistently came to the top of my list. And, you know, we were looking for somebody who obviously had great experience, um, a Midwest roots were, were, were a real nice plus. Um, having football experience uh, at several levels in the NCAA was, was really important to me. Um, and Troy's name always rose at the top. And, um, and so he was somebody we keyed in on right away and had some really good discussions back and forth. But in real high profile leadership searches like this, it's one thing to find a candidate where we think it's a good fit for both sides. You also have to make sure they're what I call movable. You know, family obligations, uh, other other things outside of the of the job that need to make sense for them. And um, you know, luckily the the stars all align. I'm a big destiny person. This this all happened for a reason. And um, you know, once Troy and I started talking, I, I knew he was the right fit. And um, just really really pleased we were get the, we were able to get it done as quickly as we were. And yeah, we're visiting Chris Kabork, interim president for the University of Nebraska. Troy's been on the job for a few weeks. The plate of an athletic director is always full. Uh, what are some things that, that maybe you and he have talked about that maybe are higher priority for him right now? Yeah, the great thing about Troy is very evident once you meet him that this is not his first rodeo. Um, you know, four months ago, he was his football program was in the college uh, championship. And so uh, I was just been blown away about how he – He's only been here two and a half weeks or so, but it feels like he's almost been here two years. I mean, he had just stepped in and got up to speed on all the issues, as you said, on an athletic director's plate. Um, uh, I knew he was the right guy. Uh, we, we finished, signed our MOU around four in the morning um, when we got the deal done. And I asked him, I'm like, so when do you think you'll, you might start out here? And he, he's... He didn't even hesitate. He's like, I'm, I'm starting today. If you can get me to Lincoln, I, I want to start today and start meeting our coaches and see Coach Rule and go to practice. And then I want to get to Memphis and support Fred and Corvallis and support Amy. And, and I just knew that was the kind of work ethic that Nebraskans would really embrace and, and rally around. And so uh, he is, he's not only sprinting, he is just, he's off like, a, you know, like a drag car race um, sprinting down the line. So, um, so I think he's doing a lot of time spending with our head coaches, our staff, getting to know you know the issues they need to deal with. Um, obviously, the stadium project is a really important priority to the university, and so I, I want to give him the time and space to to evaluate that that project and and uh, bring his um, you know opinions and 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 thoughts to that project. So there's no shortage of issues uh, t for him to be working on and. Um, but I can't be more than pleased on, on the job he's done so far. You mentioned you wanted somebody that was up to speed on college football issues. H how, uh, how valuable was Matt Rural's opinion in some of this process? Uh, absolutely valuable. I, I, I can't thank uh, Coach Rule enough for um, allowing me to pick his brain in terms of what, what he thought was important in an athletic director. Um, you know, I tried to get to as many coaches as I could, um, given the process. I got to some, but, but probably not all of them. But, um, you know, if I put my CFO hat on, I, I understand football is a huge driver of our revenues, and so that was really important. And so to have Matt comfortable um, with, this, with this selection was really important to me. So, and Coach Rule was amazing. I, I, I don't sleep a whole lot, but I think he sleeps even less than me because I could call him at almost any hour of the day or night or early morning, and he would pick up my, my phone call. So we had a lot of good conversations um, about you know ideas, uh, things he think we should look for, things like that. And you know not just football, but Troy checks a lot of those boxes. I mean, he's been on several NCA committees. He's, he's well-connected throughout the uh, community, which is really small at the end of the day. But just the cherry on top was he's in the big he he's been in the Big Ten room he knows all those players he's gonna walk right in um, and represent the Big N for uh, for Nebraska in those conversations uh, with our Big Ten partners and as you know we're we're having some really um, significant important discussions on in terms of what the future of college athletics looks like so um, he just checked a lot of boxes and he's doing a great job so far. Well, Chris, we have about five six weeks left of the semester. We've been noticing we've been young people been out getting their graduation pictures taken out here by the stadium. This is a pretty popular spot. 
that won't be far off, but it's, you know, this is an important time to be a student right now to finish off the semester. It is. It's kind of that great time. You know, the weather's starting to finally warm up. We, we were just talking about playing cold baseball and softball and how that's not always fun or track and field. And so it's good to see the weather uh, making a turn. I'm really excited about the start all of our spring uh, yeah. programs have had. Just really fantastic and looking uh, really excited to see how they, they finish up their season. But, uh, yeah, just excited for our students. Um, you know, we're going to have graduation here in a few weeks, right in the stadium here, and that's always a, a big, big highlight, um, not only for us, but our students and our family. So just wishing our students to, to stay strong and, and get it done. And, you know, but the job never, never ends. We're, we're much like athletics. We're recruiting students for the next fall semester. We're trying to get our students through this semester. Uh, we have a board meeting next week with some important issues on the item. So... Uh, no shortage of uh, issues to, and, and to deal with, but it, it's all exciting and a lot of fun. Be Chancellor Bennett's first, uh, first graduation in the stadium for him. I'm sure he's excited for that. I think he's really, really excited. Very good. Chris, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much. Continued success. My pleasure, Greg. Thank you. Chris Kabork, interim president for the University of Nebraska with us here on Sports Audi. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Back to wrap up the hour next. Husker fans, springtime in Sarpy County means sports and outdoor activities. Catch an Omaha Storm Chasers baseball game or a Union Omaha Pro soccer match at Werner Park. Visit Fontenelle Forest, where you can enjoy tree rush adventures or hike and bike on one of the many trails. Play a round of golf or experience great fishing. Relax, refresh, and rediscover yourself with a springtime trip. Plan your adventure at GoSarpy.com. Visit Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram during Ram Truck Month and save on the entire lineup of trucks. Shop the rugged and confident 2024 Ram 1500 and enjoy best-in-class towing and an array of tech features designed for whatever journey comes your way. Right now, get up to $10,000 off MSRP on all in-stock 2024 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Laramies. Your trusted Ram dealer since 1991. This is Woodhouse. With approved credit, tax dog license extra, with finance through Chrysler Capital, $299 doc fee to assign. Offer expires 430-2024. See dealer for details. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Husker fans, check out the all-new Hy-Vee Perks program. Sign up for the totally free Hy-Vee Perks program and enjoy exclusive perks pricing on hundreds, I mean hundreds, of in-store and online items. Score big savings today at hyvee.com slash perks. Camden's a former Hy-Vee employee. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Yeah. Are you still? You're not there anymore, are you? My, daughter, my middle daughter was for a while. We enjoyed the uh, employee discounts. You got some good perks. She, yeah, I said, you got to keep working here. <laughs> she did not. Isn't that fun to hear and listen to him every couple weeks? It really is. I really enjoy when he comes in the studio. He just, and he chats with you about other things that, you know, we talk officiating and all kinds yeah. of things, baseball, traveling for baseball. But 
Uh, one of the things that I know you guys didn't bring up in that interview that's been really cool to follow on social media is the recruiting of the ath or yeah, the students, the five star, you know, students. the academic, yeah. the the kids across the state that have really cool stories but are excellent students and keeping that hometown talent home, right? Uh, we've heard that a lot from that football staff, and so it's been really cool to to follow that on social media. He's done a lot for in the job that he's done, and and. You know, sometimes you get an interim, and but he's continued to push forward and, and try to do just so many good things for not just the athletics department, but um, across the board. Love it. Speaking of trying to keep some hometown athletes home, a couple of basketball updates for you. We've talked about Frankie Fiddler, the young, young man who's had a terrific career at UNO. Uh, he is going to make his announcement on an Omaha radio station Monday. Cut it to four. Nebraska is one of the four. So we'll find out on Frankie's Creighton destination. One. Creighton, Wisconsin, Nebraska, and Cam, do you remember the fourth one? Michigan State, I think, is the fourth one. William Kyle, who was at South Dakota State this past year, took a, a visit to Lincoln a few weeks ago. Big center. He's going to come back to Lincoln in a few weeks. He wants to go take a few more trips, so his process is still ongoing. But those are a couple of in-state guys that would look great wearing Husker red. Absolutely. I'm convinced of that. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I, you know, with the Frankie Fiddler, we've heard his name a lot, and I know he's, he certainly can light it up, light up the scoreboard. It's just so he, he's, look at his list, you know. Um, it's as much as you say, oh, he wants to be here. Well, there's a lot of, I mean, Creighton just had a great run in the NCAA tournament. He, I know he's friends with Chucky yeah. Hepburn at Wisconsin, so. That's I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't I don't have a good pulse on that I, decision I don't at all. We've got some people that, that listen to the show a lot that I think have kind of a connection to the uh, Fiddler family. So maybe they have a little insight. But yeah, Monday morning, he announced on social media he's going to do it on an Omaha radio station. Oh, by the way, let me pull up uh, what I did get a message back from Sam Griesel about, about um, our Andrew. Yes. So let me let me read Andrew that Morgan. You. He said, really talented guy that will play hard and play the right way. Sounds like a winner. Sounds like a perfect fit. Yes. It, you know, because how many times have we heard Coach Hoiberg say, we, we want to put out a product that, Hus that Husker fans are proud of, that want to root for, that want to show up and be in the stands for. And so here's another one of those guys. You got to fit with yeah. what's being done here. And if Sam Griesel signs off on him, he was a part of the catalyst for that, you know, sure of, of, that they brought in to, hey, this is how we want to play. These are the things we want to do. Sam Griesel was so important. We heard that time and time again, how important he was for laying that foundation and carrying that over into this season. So if Sam Griesel is signing off on him, then I'm in. I am too. Absolutely. And I think, you know, it was important for a lot of reasons with getting Juwan to come back, but this will be Juwan's third year in the program. He knows what it needs to look like. Yes. And so I think Juwan will kind of take over the Maybe the Josiah Alec role of this is what we got to do. Follow me, guys. I'm going to be the leader. Yeah, and you know he he was hurt a little bit last season mm -hmm. and missed the beginning of the season. So I think certainly from the start, hopefully he will be able to do that. And and he cares deeply. He and does. he is a guy that does not care about the stats. Just whatever he he legitimately just wants to do whatever he can to help a team win. He you know is the defensive guy he'll lock down whoever he needs to he'll rebound he'll score if he if he does but he's not a guy that oh i've got to get my right. 15 points a game he's he's not that so i think that's a, just a, such an important piece to have that made my day when i saw that both he and bryce you've been were, waiting were for it. you've been pleading for for some of that to come out <laughs> folks rp county where great food drink shopping concerts and fun await you stay play and plan your getaway go sarpy.com well, 402-413-2400 is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. They are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. One hour in the books, another to go. Come on back with us. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey Huskers, it's a new day in Nebraska. Manzer Equipment, Mertz Farm Equipment, and West Point Implement of Columbus have teamed up as True Ag and Turf. Coach Rule is bringing innovation and high performance standards to Husker football, and True Ag is doing the same to your farm with game changing Fent equipment. As Big Red establishes power on the field, True Ag and Turf does the same in the field by welcoming Fent to Nebraska. 
Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Husker fans, springtime in Sarpy County means sports and outdoor activities. Catch an Omaha Storm Chasers baseball game or a Union Omaha Pro soccer match at Werner Park. Visit Fontenelle Forest, where you can enjoy tree rush adventures or hike and bike on one of the many trails. Play a round of golf or experience great fishing. Relax, refresh, and rediscover yourself with a springtime trip. Plan your adventure at GoSarpy.com. Discover the entire lineup of luxurious sedans and SUVs at Genesis of Southwest Omaha, like the powerful and thrilling Genesis G70. Plus, receive a low APR of 2.9% for 48 months on the 2024 Genesis GV80. Start your car buying journey online at southwestomahagenesis.com today. With approved credit, tax title license extra, repayment of $22.09 a month for 48 months for $1,000 finance for well-qualified buyers. No down payment required. Offer expires May 1st, 2024. See dealer for details.
Good evening. I'm Camden Cohn, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, Husker track and field star Rima Otebo was named the Big Ten Women's Field Athlete of the Week. Otebo threw a NCAA leading 58.47 meters in the javelin last Friday at the Jim Click Shootout. The Nebraska women are ranked fourth as a team in the USTF CCCA poll. Two Nebraska bowlers were selected to all region teams today as well. Jillian Martin was named second team all central region. Martin averaged 205.1 pins this season, the best of any Husker. And Brenna Hartzler earned first team all rookie honors. She competed in every tournament this season and eclipsed the 1,000 pin mark in five of her nine tournaments. The Masters Par 3 tournament was held earlier today. Ricky Fowler was the champion with a score of five under par. No player has won the Par 3 competition and the Masters in the same year. So we'll see if Fowler can break that trend. The Masters begins tomorrow at 7 Central. Finally, some Major League Baseball scores from today. The Cardinals fell to the Phillies 4-3. The Twins defeated the Dodgers 3-2. The Diamondbacks beat the Rockies 5-3. The Mariners bested the Blue Jays 6-1 in 10 innings. And the Nationals fell to the Giants 7-1. Currently, the Padres lead the Cubs 4-2 in the 5th, and the Red Sox lead the Orioles 1-0 in the 4th, as the number one prospect in baseball, Jackson Holliday, struck out in his first at-bat in his Orioles debut at Fenway Park. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour 2 of Sports Nightly is up next, right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly, all the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here comes the 3-2 pitch, lifted to right, and drifting over near the line is Williams, and looking up, and it is gone! Wind blows it right out of here, it's a grand slam for Will Walsh, it's 5 nothing, Big Red. With Ravel, as Andrew swings and lifts it, right field and deep, Riano going back to the wall, it's gone! Home run, Billy Andrews, and that's the new record! She is the all-time home run queen at the University of Nebraska! Now the 2-2 from Sears. Breaking ball, swing, and a miss. Strikeout number seven will end the eighth inning for Brett Sears, and he has gone eight innings here on a Saturday afternoon. The pitch from Chambers. Coke golfs one to center and deep. Going back to Elgadillo, and it's gone! Three-run home run, Emerson Coke. Make it 5-2 Nebraska. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are back, Hour 2 Sports Nightly on a Wednesday night. I hope you had a great day today. You're halfway to another weekend. That's exciting. It's going to be really nice around Lincoln this weekend. They're talking about temperatures in the 80s. Might have to turn the AC on in the house. It's going to get a little warm. So I'm looking forward to, to that. I know all of you are as well. I did drove down to Lawrence, uh, down and back the last two days. Saw some, some farmers starting to kind of work the fields a little bit. Planting has not begun. I don't think, I don't think the soil temperatures are quite warm enough yet, but they're getting ready to to start planting so that's exciting fun time of year things are greening up the trees are starting to bud i love this stuff i do too i was driving down a road the other day and i had a bunch of those the the white, white flowers ones. that pretty yeah so pretty and now they'll blow off they'll come off and then you get them all laying around the, the streets but they you know, look pretty when they come in does look pretty when they come in busy hour coming up here we're gonna hear from the cooks they have recorded their latest podcast kicking back with the cooks gonna hear from the cowboy himself john cook you'll uh he uh, has a cowboy hat on for part of this interview, so we're going to hear from that just in a couple of minutes. And we'll hear from Jessica Gardner. She is a pole vaulter in the Oscar women's track and field team, which Camden just told you is ranked fourth in the country. Uh, they are so much better in the outdoors because of the throwers that they are now adding back on. Some of those Olympians or those uh, NCAA champions did not compete indoor. They're competing outdoor, and that really helps their team totals. They are a real shot to be a national championship team. Yeah, that javelin, the javelin is not yeah. an indoor, and nope. so you get those in you're talking about the best in the country they are. that you don't have an indoor that when you add it certainly uh, certainly adds a whole other element. And then you got Jenna Rogers, who's one of the best high jumpers, yep. and so they they are loaded in the field events. They with sure both are. men and women, but yeah. um, certainly the women that 
We saw the men ranked high all throughout the indoor, yeah. but now with the women, you're seeing them uh, right there with them. Top five in that for that. So we'll hear from Jessica Gardner coming up in later in the hour. And as always, our text line's wide open for you, 402-413-2400. Rudy in Florida, very impressed with uh, Chris Kaborik last hour. In fact, uh, Rudy said, uh, he goes, I'm originally from David City, which is where... Oh, cool. uh, Aaron President Kaborik is from as well. He says, just know he's salt of the earth kind of person. And I totally agree. Yeah, he really is. Totally agree with that. All right, uh, kicking back with the cooks. They try to put one out once a month. It gets a little tough in the spring because they travel for beach. And uh, But finally, Lauren and John got together to put out a new podcast. It is out everywhere. But here's a little snippet of this month's edition. The spring match that you sold out in... What was it, record time? 46 minutes. All, ca- uh, all cash, only four tickets per person, sold out in 46 minutes. Wow. 50, 5,100 seats. So this isn't, this isn't a, like last year, it was like 2,000 maybe. This is 5,100. Wow. And you're playing Denver. Yes. Megan, Megan Pendergrass, former Husker. Yep. How do you, so how did you decide on University of well, Denver? Well, because they moved the spring game, football game, to the 27th, we didn't want to go the same day as that. So we had to move to May 4th. Uh, and uh, there's only, there, we might be, besides the California schools that are in quarter system, we probably the only team is still playing that late in the semester. I mean, there's going to be some teams finish fishing, you know, right now. And uh, so Denver was still available, and they're within the range. You're all, you have to be within 400 miles. And just to get all this clarified, we were going to go up to um, uh, Sumner Eddyville, I think is what it's called. Um, I probably didn't get that exactly right, but that's where Haley Tramer was from, that area up there. They built a new gym. That's where we originally wanted to go. And then O'Neill, Nebraska, want us to go there. But when we had to move to May 4th, those schools are all having graduation that weekend. And they were willing to move graduation. I'm like, we're not going to have graduation getting moved to have a spring match. So we'll, we'll go up there, you know, next year. But the problem is that was, and Denver was the only school we could find that was still playing in this area. And that's farther than 400 miles to go up there for, for Denver. So that's why we shifted from there to Kearney. And we're playing Denver, who can get there. And, um, you know, so that's kind of the spring story, how it goes. It's kind of a crapshoot, you know, working it out in the spring. So it's a puzzle, just trying to figure out where to play, who to play, when to play. Yeah. And, you know, and, ma- pieces. and mainly our, our thing is, uh, you know, Denver is going to compete really hard. Megan's, this, she understands the brass, she wants her players to experience this. And it's our way of sharing our team with outside of Lincoln or Omaha and, and going out to Kearney. And they, I think there was so much interest, they decided to move it to the UNK gym, which can see 5,000, because we were going to be in the new high school gym. But it, I, I think the seating was pretty limited, maybe less than 2,000 or somewhere around there. So uh, the, the demand was so strong, they ended up switching it to the UNK campus. Well, what a cool opportunity for people towards the western part of the state that maybe in the fall can't make it on a weeknight to a match in Devaney. They're able to experience all of this, and hopefully they're able to get tickets. I mean, it sounds like it was an intense process, but some people were happy and, and were able to find get, or purchase tickets that day, and we'll get to watch you all in person. But it won't be your full team. Uh, why is that? Because you have two transfers that oh, aren't yeah. coming until... Okay. Well, they won't be here before May 4th, correct? No, they won't be here till June. They'll be can around talk, June 1st. Can, have they signed? Can we talk about uh, them yet? We cannot talk about them, no. Still can't talk about them. No. Okay. So, but you have two players that will not be with the team for this match that will be with you in the fall. That's, as of right now, that's the plan, yeah. <laughs> but they're, Is there any- they're both grad... Uh, Typically, you know, with the grad transfers, they're graduating at their university, and then they'll, as soon as they graduate, they'll get here. So, um, yeah. Is there anyone else who will not be 
participating in the spring match, who will be in the fall, or anyone who's injured or hurt who maybe we won't see out on the court? Well, I hope by the week, when we get to there, everybody's ready to go. Um, but Allie uh, is t training with us this spring, but I, I don't think we're going to have her play unless we need her to play. So. And when is she transferring? She's, she's, same, she's doing the reverse. So Allie is here to graduate, we'll go through graduation, and then, and then she'll move. So, uh, to L.A. So, um, yeah, I can talk about her, but I can't talk about the other ones. So here's – welcome <laughs> to the NCAA. <laughs> but everyone else is participating in spring practice. Everybody's going hard right now, so we're, we're getting after it. Well, let's get into it, and then, and then we'll shift to some cowboy talk because you have some horse updates and some interesting things that we'll end on. But I – I want to first give us a quick recap of the beach season because you guys, that's completed. You've now officially moved to indoor. So quick recap of how beach season went, uh, your overall take on it. Beach season, we won the most matches we've ever won. We played a very difficult schedule like we always do. Uh, so we're getting better and more competitive. Um, I, uh, our two freshmen, Skyler and Liv, are really good beach players. And they, they're, they did a really, really good job. So they, I think they've actually helped us to have a really good beach season just because typically when those freshmen come in, they've never played beach before. These guys have played beach. They've trained beach. I think they've even played in some tournaments. So they el really elevated our team. I was very impressed with them. Um, and uh, uh, we played a lot of matches in basically three weeks because the way the calendar is in our spring break, everything got jammed together. So I felt like, felt like we were on the road between LSU and Hawaii for three weeks, basically. It was, it was a long trip, and, um, but we were able to give them a week off after we got back, so that worked out nice. But the beach was great. And, and the other thing we did was we went to the Big Island. And the Big Island is beautiful. It's, it, it's the Nebraska part of Hawaii, I think. Very agricultural. There's deserts, there's snow, there's beautiful, you know, rainforests. It's just, it's, it's a crazy island. I mean, and the, and the, you know, the volcano goes up to 13,000 feet. So we got to experience playing over there. And we actually played one of our tournaments on a, 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 a court that the sand is black, so it's crushed lava. I mean, it's regular sand, but it's crushed lava, so it's black. So you have to be careful. It, and it, the weather was really nice, but if it gets really hot, you know, they could burn your feet. And someone actually cut their foot on this, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, one of our players uh, was not a freshman, was uh, swimming, and happened <laughs> to hit her foot on a piece of lava. and. We had to take her to get stitches. But the stitches are out. She's back in practice. She's, she's okay. She's back going. You never know. She, she can hide know. that. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you were with the team for some of that. Uh, but then for other parts of that three-week-long stretch, you were doing some home visits. You were maybe doing some recruiting trips, some speaking engagements. Can you touch on any of that, or is there anything you can talk about there? Yeah, well, so uh, anytime, you know, I don't coach beach, so my calendar is more flexible. So on the way to Hawaii, I stopped and re did recruiting and then uh, did a home visit. And then uh, on the way back, did more recruiting and another home visit. So just trying to, you know, take advantage of those opportunities. And, and uh, you know, I just met the team in Hawaii, and then I met them back in Lincoln. So it's kind of that's how it works. And during the spring, it's hard to recruit because you're you're practicing. We're doing beach, so this year we take Thursdays off, so uh, we can because um, we have a crazy class schedule that day with some people. So we have people that get out late and people that have night class on Thursdays. So. Uh, we take Thursdays off, so that so one of us can always or two of us can always be on the road recruiting. So, Jalen was recruiting yesterday, uh, which was Thursday, and and then we try to recruit Sundays because we practice on Saturdays. So it's a uh, you're cramming these things in. You're still trying to recruit because our recruiting season ends at the end of April, and then it starts back up in June. But that's when we're making offers and doing those things. So. 
uh, you kind of kind of burn the candle at both ends. I, the spring is one of the busiest times of the year. Speaking of Jalen Rays, I want to go back to him. He, it was announced that he's going to be uh, the coach for the U21 team. You have five players who have been selected, I think, who are, aren't officially on the roster, but who will go through training and, and try to make the roster. Does that affect your training, or, or does that take Jalen away from coaching at all in the spring or the summer or the fall, or do you encourage these players and, and coaches to take these opportunities? Um, well, we encourage them. Kelly has signed up in the USA program now to coach because it's great experience for them to get. Uh, Jalen's been very, very involved last several years with uh, USA, different doing camps and different things that they do. The dates work out beautifully for us because we finish our first round of camps on June 14th. That's when they leave to go train, and they get back July 1st when Junior Olympics start. Uh, Junior Olympics is very late this year. I mean, I, I don't even think I'm going there till July 5th or something, or July 4th to start because um, it's spread out and it's over different age groups. So that that window in there in June is works out great. And um, like you said, five of our players have been invited to that, um, along with um, some other players we've recruited. So um, it's, good. it's a really, really good team. It's going to be very competitive. and. So it's a great honor for Jalen. It gives them great experience, and they'll go to Canada and play in what's called the Norseka Championships, which is North American zone for the Olympics. So that's Canada, United States, Cuba, Mexico, Dominican Republic. Um, there might be a couple other small countries in there, but uh, that's uh, Puerto Rico. There's the other one, Puerto Rico, and that. Uh, that's the competition, and you win that championship. And then from that, that's a qualifier for the big tournaments like the World Championships and some other big tournaments that they'll have next year. Yeah, that was it. Kicking back with the Cooks, you can hear the full episode out now on our podcast platforms and our YouTube channel sponsored by Woodhouse. But I love that you just rock that cowboy hat the entire conversation. <laughs> and you thought he looked pretty good in it. Yeah, you it know, could, some some people can't pull off no, no, cowboy hats. You're exactly right. I don't feel like he looks, no. like, terrible in it. No, I mean, he's gotten into that whole... He's into that Yellowstone, all that stuff. He's That's his... You deal. like Yellowstone. I do like Yellowstone. I'm I've waiting. never seen an episode. <laughs> I'm not sure we can be friends. <laughs> I was about to say, does that, does that kick um, me off the cool bus? No, it, you would like it. You'd like it. The whole series I mean, I know it. Good. My parents love it. Yeah. They and watched even the 1923. I've not seen 1923. I've seen 1883, which is like an 8, 10 episode run. It was really good, too. Yeah, so. they've went, my dad's into all of that, but I just have yeah. not seen any of it. Poor girl. He didn't tell us who was at Cut Her Foot Swimming. That, that hurts. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Man. Yeah. I don't know. And feet for volleyball is kind of a big deal, right? And it, if you end up stitches. You're jumping. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a important part of your body to play volleyball so yeah you're right the whole full podcast is out and always fun and packed with information uh in there our woodhouse auto family hotline they are your trusted auto partner 20 brands 20 convenient sales and service locations we're making car buying on your terms visit us online at woodhouse.com also want to tell you that hyvee husker fans you need to go check out the all-new hyvee perks Sign up for the totally free hy Perks program and enjoy exclusive perks pricing on hundreds of items in store and online. Score big savings today at hy slash perks. We're back to hear from Jessica Gardner, a pole vaulter on the Husker women's track and field team. We'll do that next. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. 
Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation is known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. The Jeep Celebration event is going on right now at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Sioux City. Shop and save on top models like the 2024 Jeep Compass Limited and lease for just $379 per month with $0 down. Visit us in store or online at WoodhouseChryslerDodgeDeepRam.com. Serving Siouxland since 2013. This is Woodhouse. 42 months, 10,000 miles per year with approved credit. Tax title license extra. First payment at $179 doc fee to sign. Stock number DS240308. Offer expires 430-24. See dealer for details. Don't miss out on limited-time appliance deals during the closeout event at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off select major appliances. Plus, save an extra $100 when you spend $999 or more on all major appliances. Hurry, these deals are too good to last long. Shop in-store or online today because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 1-4 through 124. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Nottle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Nottle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Nottle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on a brand new 2023 F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Husker fans, springtime in Sarpy County means sports and outdoor activities. Catch an Omaha Storm Chasers baseball game or a Union Omaha Pro soccer match at Werner Park. Visit Fontenelle Forest where you can enjoy tree rush adventures or hike and bike on one of the many trails. Play a round of golf or experience great fishing. Relax, refresh, and rediscover yourself with a springtime trip. Plan your adventure at GoSarpy.com. Experience the difference and save more when you shop at one of our three convenient Woodhouse Ford locations. And right now, it's more affordable than ever to get behind the wheel of a new vehicle when you visit a Woodhouse Ford dealership. With special financing options featuring low APR rates and flexible terms, or lease deals with competitive monthly payments and minimal upfront costs. Owning a Ford from Woodhouse has never been easier. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealers, applying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions 
for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. It's a Wednesday night edition of Sports Sunday here on the Huskers Radio Network. Wednesdays is also the day that Jessica drops her Wednesday's women's podcast. And this week, she focuses on Jessica Gardner, a pole vaulter on the Huskers women's track and field squad. You know, with your social media and, and growing the brand and all of that kind of stuff, talk to me about that and how you first started, okay, let me dive into the social media thing and, and how that whole process started for you. Yeah, so it was probably um, about a year and a half ago, I'd say. It was a little into my senior year. I'm in my fifth year now. Where I was like, okay, I kind of want to take this seriously. And so... I attended, we had a speaker here for the athletes who was, um, someone came in through Instagram to talk to us. And I started doing different research, looking into stuff. And what I kind of found was for track and field athletes or for athletes in my sport, there weren't a ton of resources. I found that for me, NIL was going to look very different than someone on mm -hmm. the volleyball team or someone on the basketball team. Just because those sports already have a huge following right. as a sport, whereas track and field in the United States is not, you know what I mean, a football or volleyball right. type empire. So I knew that it was going to look different for me. So I was like, how do I approach this? And I sort of found that my best route would be, I sort of need to be an influencer alone who happens to be an athlete. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Building a brand outside of just my sport. And if they buy into me, then they'll buy into my sport as a byproduct of that. So then I started kind of trying to post Myself, I would incorporate sports in there, but I didn't want my whole entire thing to just be that I was an athlete. And it was really cool. I was able to build a following who I feel like knows me and who I can stay connected with after I'm done wearing the N, you know? So it's been really fun. It's been way bigger than I could have ever imagined for myself. What was it like when it first started blowing up? And you oh first started gosh. seeing, like, okay, what I'm doing is, is working. Yeah, it was, it was really exciting, but it was also overwhelming yeah. because I feel like I wasn't prepared for it, and I didn't, I didn't know what to expect of it, and I was trying to navigate. You know, people are reaching out wanting to help me with NIL deals, or people are reaching out for different... I just felt, like, a little bit in over my head of, like, oh, my gosh, what do I do here? Like, I need some guidance. I Because that's the thing is, like, having gone and done it on my own it was like okay now I'm on my own and what do I do now do <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean yeah <laughs> so what did you do then how did you start to figure it out um well we have an NIL liaison here who was really helpful the compliance department was really helpful because a lot of uh paperwork and mm -hmm. legal things were being thrown my way and I didn't know how to navigate them um yeah I'd say I leaned on the support here at Nebraska to help guide me and make the right decisions because I was like this is all really exciting but I feel like if I make the wrong decision it could be really bad for me so <laughs> so you know someone is listening in and is maybe thinking about trying to to do what you did what would what would be your advice um my advice would be to find what makes you unique yeah um to find what really makes you you because if you're trying to be something you're not on your social media platforms then the people who are following you or buy into that aren't actually bought into you, you know? Whereas if you are yourself on there, the people that will find you and buy into you are gonna be people who will stick with you for the long run because they truly want to know what you are up to, want to know what your thoughts are on something. So I think being authentic and also just breaking down like what makes me me, what makes me different from other athletes, what makes me different from other influencers and really like focusing on that for your content absolutely so there's that's almost like a full-time job you're a student <laughs> all and then you talk about being an athlete how do you balance it how do you find the time to do everything that you need to do to be good at everything that you're trying to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah it can be overwhelming at times um i think i definitely had good time management skills to begin with um being a student athlete and then the nil piece of it it was overwhelming at times last year, I won't lie, because it felt like a job and it felt like I have to get a video. And I felt I noticed that I was having a little less fun with it at one point because it turned into a, I have to do this, I have to get content yeah. out. As opposed to when it started, it was like, this is fun, this is what I'm doing and I'm just going to make a video while I do it. Um, but over time, I've kind of learned to balance that. I've learned to recognize when I need a break and I don't need to produce content right now, you know? So... And I also think like the ability to double dip, like showing up early to practice and working on homework on the pole vault pit or like traveling on a meet and making a TikTok with my teammates. You know what I mean? And sort of all those things overlapping makes it a little easier. I don't have to keep it separate. Yeah, absolutely. 
So there's so many positive things that come with building a brand, but then it's social media, right? I mean, right. I think everybody at some, in some way or form has, has experienced some of the negativity that comes along with that. How do you balance that? How do you go about, you know, knowing what you're doing is making an impact and trying to be positive and, and to be this positive kind of channel for people, but then not letting the negative get to you? Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier said than done. So I have to remind myself of it sometimes. But I think just keeping everything at a surface level, even the really nice compliments, even the really mean compliments, you know, not reading too far into anything, kind of realizing that everything someone's saying, all their perceptions of me is a reflection of their life and something, you know what I mean? They mm -hmm. have gone through or are going through, good or bad. And then I think it's really rewarding instances like those young girls at the Florida Relays who wanted to take a photo with me. Stuff like that is really encouraging and reminds me, you know, okay, I'm doing a good thing. I want to keep this going. I'm grateful for the platform that I have, and I can't let those negative comments get to me. Great message. The NIL part of it, too, it's become such a big topic in college oh, yeah. sports. And you've become a big face of it here at Nebraska, too, but you went to the NIL Summit last year. Mm -hmm. What's that been like for you, just not only just managing for yourself, but then also trying to be a voice and help push this along in the grand scheme of things for other athletes beyond just those big sports you're talking about? Yeah, I'm so grateful for the opportunity, and I'm so grateful to represent a sport like track and field, where it's not the number one sport you would think of for NIL. So it's really exciting for me to be able to show people, like, if you take this seriously, if you figure out what your brand is and build on it, like you could be very successful with it. And so I'm just thankful for the opportunities that have come from it. Being able to go to the NIL Summit was amazing. Um, I was able to connect with other athletes and I was reflecting on it. And it was crazy because it's like, you know, all of us are so similar here. You would never know or you would never have a conversation with an athlete from another sport. It's not like we sit between jumps in a competition and are like, hey, uh, you know what I mean? What are you up to after this? But it's like all student athletes are very similar people. We all have very similar drive and ambition and work ethic, you know, and we all look at things in similar ways. That's why we all ended up in college sports. And so it was really cool to be in an environment that wasn't a competition and be able to connect with those other student athletes. It was really special. And I don't know, there's just so many opportunities that I've been able to have because of NIL and I'm really grateful for them. You know, if someone's listening in that might be considering contributing to NIL, and, and you talked about, you know, all the other opportunities that might be there for other athletes that may be a little bit challenging for some of the other student athletes. What, I, I guess what would you say would be your message? What would be your advice to maybe thinking about in, incorporating some other sports? Yeah, I think as opposed to just looking for the largest following or the largest reach, looking for an athlete, whether they have a huge following or not, who aligns most with your brand, who makes mm -hmm. the most sense for your brand, who truly loves the brand. Because if they can authentically advertise your brand, you're going to find a lot more success than someone who doesn't really know your brand, but is posting it for, you know what I mean, a good amount of money. So I think regardless of the sport, just making sure the athletes that you're connecting with make sense for your brand and are good representatives of your brand. Their morals are similar to you guys. Their beliefs are similar to you guys. What they post aligns with the stuff you guys post. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, that would be my advice. <laughs> so is that is your major PR and advertising, right? Or yes. So it's kind of interesting. I am pre medicine, pre healthcare. Wow. But you can choose any major you want as long as you're taking the prerequisites. So my freshman year, when COVID happened, I was like, okay, what do I do with my degree? Because I knew that I wouldn't want to graduate and go on to more school while I still had eligibility left. A lot of programs don't have track teams, and also I knew I wanted to stay in Nebraska. So. I chose advertising and public relations as a major, which worked out really well for me when NIL started yeah. um, in a business minor. But it's been really cool because I was just kind of looking at it as, okay, I have five years, well, four more years here now. How can I learn as much as possible um, in those years? And I'm fortunate to have scholarships and grants where my school is covered. So it's like, while well, I'm not paying for it, while I'm here competing, I just want to be a sponge and absorb stuff. So it's been really cool to be able to be within each college. and. I'd say one thing that the advertising and public relations classes have so well that the pre-medicine courses are lacking is team-based projects, group-based activities. Because going into healthcare, I will be working as a team. Right. I will be serving as a member of a team. And like organic chemistry, biochemistry, physics, those classes are all very independent and just like just you taking an exam, which is great. 
but also it sort of is lacking that piece that those classes right. have. So it's been really cool to see that within those courses. Fascinating. So what do you want to do when you go to pre-med? Like, what's the goal? So I've applied to Master's of Science in Anesthesia programs. So I want to be an anesthesiologist assistant. Um, it's a, a little over two year, like 26 month program. I've applied to one school in Florida and one school in Georgia. So wow. after this year, leaving the Midwest, which is a little scary being from Nebraska and yeah. never living anywhere else. but. I think there's no better time to do it. I think that I owe it to myself to see, and I can always come home if I want to, but I'm just kind of curious what's out there. It's amazing. So I did want to circle back, and, and so we've, we've talked a couple times about over the, over the weekend, you ran into a group of high school girls that followed you on, on social media. What's that like when you realize, okay, I'm, I'm making an impact other than just getting followers and views that, you know, they were inspired by something that, that I posted maybe? Yeah, it's such a great reminder because sometimes... You can feel so disconnected behind the screen. So that human interaction is like, wow, like this is real. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's really special. And it's like, if you would have told me that that would have happened to me when I came in here as a freshman, I would have told you you were crazy. You know, um, if you would have told me even that I was like traveling to all these meets, I probably would have been like, really? Like I, <laughs> uh, but I think that it makes it all so much more real. It's all like, oh my gosh, this has really happened. You know, it's not just this thing on my phone. It's like, these are real people that I can interact with and that I can reach. And it sort of reminds me to make videos that cater to that because it's like, I want these young girls to know they're seen. I want them to know they're heard. I want other people to understand what they're going through or might go through, you know? I love that. I I'm telling you, I was just blown away. It was a an over half hour that we had this conversation and the full episode is out now on our podcast platforms and our YouTube channel as well. But, um, you know, I also, cause you talk about the most followed student athlete here on campus. That's her, that's Jess Gardner. And I, what I found was fascinating. One of the things that she talked about was she goes to the NIL summits and she's a big kind of a spokesperson now for NIL because she has these opportunities and Talking with other student athletes, she said one thing that is so different about what Nebraska does and, and being here, not only the resources that are here with everybody that's in place, but it's the whole state behind you. Whereas you think about all the, we, we've said this a lot, right? There's no, there's no Nebraska state. Yeah, yeah. So she said it's, you feel like the whole state is behind you when you, you're starting to take some of this stuff on. And um, it really is unique in that way and how. You know, when you start building a brand, it feels like you've got a lot of support that maybe not everybody does. But it was it was just so interesting. And you heard her talking about wanting to get into anesthesiology. And, you know, one of the things that she's done with her platform is she's partnered with the American Cancer Society because of her, her mom's Mom. battle. And, you know, all the she wants to give back and, and do big things. And so she's just so impressive in so many different ways. Very sincere. And that comes across. And this isn't somebody just seeking attention. Yeah. Which a lot of that is. Yes. That's not her vent or her. And that's that's what really caught my ear listening to that right there. And I think that's what a lot of the social media, they aren't genuine. And, Correct. But, but I think she's built her following because she is genuine. Right. And if you just see her and what she posts, does that match when you meet them in person? And it absolutely does. does. So I, it just, um, you know, I had seen videos of her on social media and I was just, it was just such a pleasure just to talk to her. Even when, before we were, when we weren't on camera, when we weren't recording, it was just so great to, to get to chat with her. She's such a great advocate, great representative of, because you're talking about somebody that's being called upon on an NCA level to give her perspective on NIL initiatives and all that and so um, she's a she's great great representative for the Huskers over 130,000 followers on Instagram on Instagram and over 200,000 on TikTok wow yeah those are jaw-dropping numbers even for like celebrities too that's awesome good for her I also thought too one of the things she also got into was just the mental part of it and the PRs and battling mm -hmm. that and and how that's just such a thing that we don't always talk about in track and field but so she dives into all of that so check out the full conversation i cannot say enough good things about everything she had to say in that entire entire interview so cool folks 402-413-2400 that is our woodhouse auto family hotline they are your trusted auto partner 20 brands 20 convenient sales and service locations we're making car buying on your terms visit us online at Woodhouse. Dot com. We have an injury update on the HRM, which might affect tomorrow night's programming. We'll tell you about that next. <laughs>
Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Husker fans, springtime in Sarpy County means sports and outdoor activities. Catch an Omaha Storm Chasers baseball game or a Union Omaha Pro soccer match at Warner Park. Visit Fontenelle Forest, where you can enjoy tree rush adventures or hike and bike on one of the many trails. Play a round of golf or experience great fishing. Relax, refresh, and rediscover yourself with a springtime trip. Plan your adventure at GoSarpy.com. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I got in a crash. I'm okay. I was wearing my seatbelt. People count on you to buckle up. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of Built Ford Tough. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on a brand new 2023 F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Folks, if problem gambling is burning up your money, there is a way out. Help is free and confidential for Nebraskans and their families. There's no judgment, just help. Visit lifeafterbet.com. 
Com. 402-413-2400, the number if you want to be a part of the program here on a Wednesday night. Mentioned that there's a little injury update at the <laughs> HRN. Cole is feeling under the weather, so he was out today. So the status of the joke of the week is kind of up, it's kind of to be determined for tomorrow. I know, night. and I think that's going to um, maybe upset a few people. So I'm just, I, I want to warn people so they don't. I know. You know, I feel like sometimes they just, on Thursdays, are just tuning in for joke of the week. And so, hey, don't plan your day around Cole's joke of the week because we do not know his status. I he, know. He's a game time decision. I, well, he thinks he's back tomorrow. I don't know. He gave me kind of uh, the rundown of how, how he was feeling today. And I'm like, I don't think, I, I think it's less than 50 50. I think he's doubtful. I'm going to put it doubtful. Doubtful. Cole. Are, is, is it going to be on like the Big Ten site? <laughs> Availability on the Huskers, <laughs> Huskers Radio Network website. We'll put out an availability report tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Uh, okay, so my thinking is if he can't be in, I would rather him not be in and get all of us I sick. don't want him around here. You know, so I think Duke is the intern that it's his shift tomorrow. Maybe we could have Duke substitute. Maybe he texts or they t talk about it. Because he runs, them, runs by all of his jokes by them anyways. He does. That maybe Duke could just step in. So maybe people could vote. Do we want to just like, if Cole's not here, do we just skip the joke segment? Or do we have the intern step in and, and pinch hit for I, Cole tomorrow? I think that's a fabulous idea. So Let us know if you have any objections to that. And so we'll, and I, can be, have a, I can have a plan in place for tomorrow. Be checking the availability report <laughs> late afternoon tomorrow on the, on the status of Cole Hartman. We wish him to get better quickly and get him back. We miss him. When, I could, he was in here Monday. Sound like Froggy. I mean, it, I, I know. I, I, get out of here. We don't want your cold to be You're spreading like around, around here. You're walking around your face, and we had Camden walking around with the spray bottle Lysol thing. Lysol spray. Get him out. Yeah. Get him out. Don't come back until you are not contagious. People say Duke's the man, so go with Duke. All right. Well, uh, we'll Duke's got a little coal in him, a little of that sly humor that you got to kind of pay attention. You're like, man, you just zinged me, and yeah, I didn't even know it. The other night, I ca accidentally called him Henry, one of our other interns, uh, just in the heat of the moment trying to close out the show. On his way out, he said, see you later, Jennifer. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he'll be pretty funny. I think he'll be able to carry it. So That's we, we need to let him know. Can, that, you can somebody text Duke and tell him, hey, be ready for a that joke is, tomorrow? That is fantastic. <laughs> All right, Master starts tomorrow. We're going to give you our picks. Coming up in the next segment, 402-413-2400. That is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. They are your trusted auto partner, 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Our master's picks coming up next. Don't miss out on limited-time appliance deals during the closeout event at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off select major appliances. Plus, save an extra $100 when you spend $999 or more on all major appliances. Hurry, these deals are too good to last long. Shop in-store or online today because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 1-4 through 124. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on a brand new 2023 F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyset Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Back inside the Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Final few minutes, we've got some housekeeping to do. The tournament is over, so our sports nightly bracket challenge is in the books. We have a winner. We do have a winner, and it is one of the OGs in the chat. Andy Harris from Phoenix. He wins. He overtakes Camden, a.k.a. intern number one. Because Camden in the final had Purdue. Stretch. Camden, yep. had, in fact, Camden had UConn Purdue, and he had Purdue. That's, that's pretty good, well done to have both the finals. So Camden ends up going from first to tied for 17th with you, and I'm further on down than that. Did you see who was second? Our old pal Tim Mulhoff. Tim Mulhoff. Yeah. yeah. I uh, texted him and Dowdy. Dowdy probably had Duke going all the way. Oh. So yeah, Dowdy didn't finish well, but... Tim, congrats to former producer Tim for runner-up finish. Fantastic. Good stuff. And but, Camden, congrats. That's pretty yeah. awesome. You had good the job. finals. You picked the teams in the finals. That's really good. I think you, you basically win the, the people that in, are employed. In-house. The in-house yeah. crowd. In-house pool, yeah. But congrats to Andy for uh, winning that title. I don't, he, he definitely performed better than he did in his football picks. We'll say that. No question. No question. Yeah. All right. Master starts tomorrow. They're, they're expecting rain in the morning tomorrow, so it could be kind of a sloppy start. Love this tournament. Love sitting back. Going to watch a lot of golf over the weekend. You got a pick? Give me the guy I always pick, Victor Hovland. Okay. You know, he's done a swing change a little bit. So, But, but he, he but like, is killing it on the par three today. Loves this course, plays well on this course. He's going to win a major soon. So that's a pretty I, good pick. I, I went back and forth between Brooks Kepka because I always I, – one of those two I always pick. But yeah. I, I think Victor's close, and so – and he played well today, so I'm going to go with him. They um, – Brooks is missing two of the majors. He's won the Open – and he's won the PGA. He's not won the British or the Masters, so he's too shy of the Grand Slam. So I, I and think he played well last year and then lost it at the end. He so did. and he likes the Masters. He does. So and his game's kind of built for these kind of courses. Camden, who's your pick? All right, I got a sleeper. Um, I'm going to go with Cameron Young. He oh. had a top ten finish at Augusta last year, and yep. I think he'll do good this year. I he, like it. He's on so many. He's not won yet on the PGA Tour, but he's on all these leaderboards. He made the Ryder Cup team because he scores so well every week. He's going to bust through at some point in time. That's a good pick. I like that. All right. I think we're in the age of chalk. We so had, you're going. We had chalk with men's basketball. We had chalk with women's basketball. I'm going chalk. Give me Scotty Sheffield. Yeah. It's a, I mean, obviously, he's the heavy favorite, but I just, I don't like to see the favorites win all the time. I, and, I'm with you. And I like Scotty, but I was this way with Tiger. I just, I don't like it when people just win over and over and over again. I like to see the different winners. So. I know. I'm, but I I'm like Scotty, and certainly too. he's playing the best of anybody. That's a great pick, but I just, I hope it's not. I, just for the sake of, let's mix it up. No, I agree with you. I'm just like, I'm, I'm tired of losing. I didn't win the tournament, <laughs> Brian. I'm going to win something. So I'm going Scotty Scheffler. Hopefully you're wrong again, Greg. Uh, I'm, the guys in the chat were saying they've already delayed the start tomorrow morning because of the expected heavy rains. And that's okay. If it's, it's the rest of the week's fine, so they can catch up. If they miss the morning session tomorrow, they, they can get caught up. So love it. Going to be watching some golf the next couple of days. All right, I'm out tomorrow night. Jess has a full show. The Big Dog's going to make an appearance. The Big Dog, Jeremiah Searles. Located and found him. He went to practice. We, we dive into all the offense. Oh, so. Love it. We'll hear that and a lot more practice report. Matt Earl will meet with the media tomorrow. So full show tomorrow night. Have fun with all that. Thanks to Camden and all of you. Have a great night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
Not much can be counted on these days, especially getting timely rains. However, having a TNL irrigation system gives you water on demand. This is an insurance policy you pay for once and cash in time and time again. Perfect for all irrigators, TNL irrigation systems don't require complicated, expensive, and dangerous high voltage electricity. They're driven continuously forward by hydrostatic drives. Take some uncertainty out of farming with an intuitive hydrostatic powered TNL system. Visit TLIRR.com to learn more. TNL, like no other. Did I forget something? No, just wanted to tell you I love you. Oh, don't forget to buckle up. Drive safe. I will. Love you too. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Get 1.9% financing for 70